years ago, while I was still ski racing, I was driving home from the mountains from this race, and on the way I was daydreaming. Um, probably you don't do that in KL, in the traffic, but where I come from there are these big, long, winding roads, and I was going along and I was just off in this wonderful world. And I was thinking about my ski race. It had been a great race because for the first time in my life, I had been clocked at speeds of over 100 kilometers an hour. This was on one leg. Now this is a sport where people sometimes die. People break bones all the time. They rip and they tear their ligaments. That happens very common. I stopped along the way and pulled into the self-serve gas station to fill my car up, got it all filled, grabbed my crutches, walked on in to the building to pay the cashier. And I, I went to the self-serve station because I was on a ski racer's budget and I didn't have enough money to go to the full serve station. So I paid him, and as I paid him, he looked at me, and his eyes got wide, and his jaw dropped, and he said, wow, lady, you are so courageous to fill your car by yourself at the self serve station. Now, when he said this, it surprised me a little bit, considering where I had just been and what I had been doing. And I thought to myself, well, I'm cheap, maybe, but courageous, please. Ladies and gentlemen, courage, courage is about extending out of our comfort zone. Courage is about facing fears that stand in front of us, pushing ourselves just a little bit. And honestly, for me, there was not a bit of courage required to fill my car at the self-serve station. I just need to interrupt for a minute. I see some of you taking notes. I want you to do a little exercise with me. Would you hold your um, books up in the air so I can see everybody's books? Okay, and would you take them and would you reach down and put them underneath your chairs? Put your books under your chairs. Everybody, you in the front row, you do it too. <laughs> and leave them there. You'll get to take plenty of notes later on in the day. But this is a talk to sit back. I want you to go on the journey with me. I want you to feel what it is that I've felt and travel with me. You'll do plenty of note taking later on. And another thing about this talk, I want to just talk to the women for a minute. So will you men forgive me? Um, women, let's see, we're going to try an exercise together. Would you all reach down with your, let's see, take your left hand, put it in the air. Well, men, you can do this too if you want. I, saw, I somebody, saw somebody back there in about the, the sixth row and the woman just nudged him. If you want to do this, you can. Yeah, I don't want you to be left out. Okay, reach down and take your left shoe and take it off and hold it in the air. 